Yes, sir. Will and his staff are people you can count on to help you protect all that's good in your life. They make it easy to save on the quality protection you need, even help you do the switching and the paperwork for you. We are located in front of the hospital here in Jessup at 895 South 1st Street. So stop by or call 385-2301. That is 385-2301. The Hearst Agency, your Allstate Insurance Agency here in Jessup. Advanced Healthcare Center and Spine Institute in Jessup is your complete wellness clinic, serving Wayne County and the surrounding area for over 25 years. Advanced Healthcare combines excellent medical, chiropractic, physical therapy, acupuncture, and massage therapy providers working together as a team to get you well and enjoying life as soon as possible. They have state-of-the-art diagnostic and treatment options on site, including digital x-rays, ultrasound, nerve testing, durable medical equipment, laboratory, and much more to properly diagnose and treat your condition effectively. They accept most all major insurance plans, motor vehicle and workman's comp injury cases, and provide same-day appointments for your convenience. Advanced Healthcare specializes in the treatment of spinal pain, arm and leg pain, joint and arthritis pain, and headaches. Medically supervised weight loss with a genuine HCG tablets or prescription medications are available as well. Your health is their business. Advanced Healthcare and Spine Institute in Jessup, health for life. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for the latest in local news. In the news, Wayne County Superior Court Monday morning, a pretrial motion hearing for murder defendant Troy Simmons was scheduled to go on trial this coming Monday for the December 23, 2013 murder of Wendell Lee Jr., whose body was found in the backyard of 548 North Whaley Street. The trial has been rescheduled for August 8th in Wayne County as Simmons fired his attorney, Stephen Tillman, from Appling County yesterday and after an ex parte hearing with just the judge, Roger Lane. And the defendant Simmons and attorney Tillman, Judge Roger Lane, allowed Tillman to step aside and be dismissed from the case. And the court will appoint another court appointed attorney to represent Simmons. Judge Lane told Simmons, however, if he disagrees with the new court appointed attorney's trial strategy, then he'll simply just have to represent himself. Simmons wearing his orange Appling County jail uniform as he's being housed in Appling County awaiting trial. Simmons connected to a gang out of Hinesville, Georgia, which is associated with several murders that occurred in Wayne County last year. Simmons also scheduled to stay in trial for the murder of Lori Michelle Holland, who was gunned down in her driveway of her home in Jessup back on February 21st of 2014. There are two other co-defendants in that case also charged with murder. They are Kendall Frazier and Dominic Brown. Once again, next week's murder trial put on hold until August 8th of this year as Simmons able to fire his attorney, Stephen Tillman. The new attorney will be court appointed. Wayne County Board of Education is set to meet today at 6 p.m. on the agenda's approval of their fiscal year 2017 budget and supplements, information on InterQuest, the K-9 year-end report. There's also an executive session to discuss personnel and approval of personnel. That's today at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center. A couple of discussions during the budget sessions has been the hope to give a one-time pay raise to bus drivers as the school system is having a hard time attracting bus drivers to the system. And secondly, once they hire a bus driver, having a hard time keeping the bus drivers on staff past few years, it's been difficult finding qualified drivers. So again, the board hoping to address the issue with the budget. There was talk about increasing their pay through mileage. Also talk about a one-time increase in pay. Bus drivers have been a big part of the budget process. And again, those decisions have to be finalized before approval of the budget. Other issues, the lack of a track facility at the high school. Discussions have ranged from long-term goals to short-term fixes. And costs have been discussed on each of those directions as well. That also has been a big part of the budget discussions. That issue may have found a solution, though, as the school system about to receive 60% of that $2.5 million from the state and the flip of money that the state and the county and the Board of Assessors have agreed upon. That money could be used to solve the track problem. State Representative Bill Workhouse will be your special guest on Thursday's World Famous Butch and Bob show to discuss the flip of program and Wayne County's fight to get the money that they believe has been owed to them for quite some time. Again, that's this Thursday. State Representative Bill Workhouser on hand to discuss the FLIPPA program and legislation in general. Again, the school board is set to meet today at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center for a work session meeting. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Hello, my name is Chad Neesmith from Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup. At Neesmith, we had the biggest inventory of new and used vehicles around. We also had the best prices guaranteed. We know everyone wants the best vehicle at the best price. At Neesmith, we'll give you just that. We sell all makes and models from Lexuses, Nissans, BMWs, and of course all GM and domestic cars too. Best of all, if we don't have the vehicle on the lot you want, we can get it for you in just a day or two, tops. 
All we ask at Neesmith Smith is before you buy to give us a chance to save you some money. We will have the best prices and give you the most for your trade guaranteed. So don't pay too much. Come and see us today and let us show you how we can get you into the vehicle you want at the lowest price guaranteed. Only at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup on Highway 341 towards Brunswick. Or visit us online at NeesmithNow.com. That's NeesmithNow.com or at 912-427-2045. There ain't nothing wrong with the right price. When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties for over 13 years. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the only nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our new administrative offices, located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, have opened recently as phase one of our building project. Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria, regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak to someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice, and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia, working to add life to your days. Reminder that early voting for the runoff in the clerk of course race will begin on July 5th, run for three weeks. The candidates are incumbents. Eloise Ogden and challenger Francis Jurgen In the primary race, the two candidates are separated by just 26 votes as Eloise Ogden received 1,677, while Francis Jurgen received 1,651. Once again, the early voting period begins three weeks before the election date, which is Tuesday, July 26th. If you need more information, simply call the Federal Registrar's Office here in Wayne County. Chamber of Commerce getting ready for their fourth annual legacy dinner. Again, they're inviting everyone to attend the dinner set for Thursday, July 14th at the Pine Forest Country Club. Tickets available at the Chamber of Commerce, $50 for members, $75 for non-members. purpose of the dinner is to promote, recognize, and encourage leadership in the community. At the dinner, the Chamber will recognize the 2015-2016 outgoing board members for their service to the community. Also, outgoing board chairman Ken Fountain will pass the gavel to incoming chairman Joy Birch Meeks. Also, the Chamber Recognition of the Small Business of the Year, Business Leader of the Year, Excellence in Agriculture, the Distinguished Service Award, and Ambassador of the Year Award all to be handed out on Thursday, July 14th. Once again, tickets for the event are on sale at the Chamber office. If you need more information, call the Chamber at 427-2028. $50 for Chamber members, $75 for non-members. But again, everyone in the community is invited to attend the Legacy Dinner, again, set for July 14th at the Pine Forest Country Club. Insurance and Safety Fire Commissioner Ralph Hudgens is urging Georgians to be fire resilient following multiple federal fires in houses involving older adult residents over the last several days. They've had four older adults die in separate house fires in Georgia since May 28th, and all the victims were over the age of 69, according to the commissioner. He says they're asking families, friends, and neighbors to keep an eye on older residents in their community, especially regarding fire safety. Four deaths included an 87-year-old woman in DeKalb County, two sisters ages 69 and 73 in Cobb County, and in Gwinnett County, a 71-year-old man died. So far, fire has claimed the lives of 67 Georgians in 2016. Hudgens says older adults make up a disproportionate number of the state's fire victims for a variety of reasons, since they may lack the mobility to escape a fire. Also, many older people are security conscious and install burglar bars around windows and doors. While this protection decreases the likelihood of a break-in, it also makes it more difficult to exit the home and makes it harder for firefighters to get inside to battle a fire. Commissioner says smoke alarms are especially essential for older adults since they may need more time to escape and early fire warning is invaluable. Nine out of ten fire victims are already dead before the fire department is even called, mainly from smoke and toxic gases. That's why Georgia law requires a smoke alarm in every home. Once installed, smoke alarms need regular battery replacement. Older adults may have a hard time reaching an alarm that is properly mounted high on a wall or on the ceiling. You can help an older relative or neighbor by making sure they have a working smoke alarm. They said you could possibly save a life. Each household should have a well-rehearsed family escape plan with at least two exit paths for every room. Older adults need to plan an escape route that they can easily utilize in case of an emergency. Again, anyone with questions about how to create a fire escape plan can contact their local fire department or you can call Commissioner Hudgens Fire Safety Education Division. The number is 1-800-656-2298. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Hello, my name is Chad Neesmith from Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup. At Neesmith, we had the biggest inventory of new and used vehicles around. We also had the best prices guaranteed. 
We know everyone wants the best vehicle at the best price, and Neesmith will give you just that. We sell all makes and models from Lexuses, Nissans, BMWs, and of course all GM and domestic cars too. Best of all, if we don't have the vehicle on the lot you want, we can get it for you in just a day or two, tops. All we ask at Neesmith is before you buy to give us a chance to save you some money. We will have the best prices and give you the most for your trade guaranteed. So don't pay too much. Come and see us today and let us show you how we can get you into the vehicle you want at the lowest price, guaranteed. Only at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup on Highway 341 towards Brunswick. Or visit us online at NeesmithNow.com. That's NeesmithNow.com or at 912-427-2045. There ain't nothing wrong with the right price. When it comes to money, it always seems the unexpected happens when you can least afford it. That's when you need someone you can count on. At First Franklin Financial, we're here when you need us. We make loans for all reasons and all seasons, so just tell us how much you need. Stop by our office at 1074 North Macon Street or give us a call at 427-4237. That's 427-4237. The next time something pops up out of the blue, give us a call. We'll have you in the green in no time. We make loans for all reasons and all seasons, so just tell us how much you need. 912-427-4237. Apply online at www.1ffc.com. All loans are subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLSR number 141654. Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656. Final notes and news. Plans underway for the City of Scrivens July 4th celebration set for Saturday, July 2nd. A great fireworks show is again scheduled. Booth space for the evening is also available. $40 without power, $50 with power. Forms are available at Scriven City Hall or at the Tourism Board Office at the Jessup Train Depot. Street vendor permits for those not settling in the park area are $20 each. You must have a permit to sell in Scriven on the 4th of July. Music and booths will begin at 5 p.m. The presentation of the colors will be held at 6. Entertainment begins after the presentation of the color. The city of Scriven thanks Wayne Memorial Hospital for its continued financial support of the fireworks for Scriven, Wayne County, and all of South Georgia. Need more information before the big event? Call Scriven City Hall at 579-2211. Again, make plans to see the best fireworks show in the area in Scriven on Saturday, July 2nd. And finally, the news, congratulations to Pastor Mickey Tomlin and his wife, Debbie, who celebrated 24 years with the House of Worship this past Sunday with Pastor Appreciation Day. Pastor and his wife showered with gifts and a meal after the Sunday service by the congregation. Again, Mickey Tomlin celebrating 24 years as a pastor of the House of Worship Ministries here in Jessup. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan saying have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. With approved credit plus dealer processing fee restrictions apply, see dealer for details.